Wet or dry ribs? I like them both, but today we're going to be making a wet barbecue baby back ribs with a side of garlic mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. So let's waste no time and get straight to the ingredients. I got a nice piece of baby back rib. Now for our seasonings, I know I've got a lot going on here. Uh, you don't have to do as much, but I like to season my rib just a little bit of everything, not to overpower the barbecue sauce, but this will help out bring out all the flavors from the meat. Uh, for our binder, I'm gonna be using uh, just a plain old mustard. You can use uh, olive oil, uh, either or. They help put the, uh, uh, help the stick the dry seasoning to the meat. I've got a few different peppers out here. I've got chipotle, chili powder, smoked paprika, and black peppers. I've got some salt, onion powder, garlic powder. And for our side, I've got Brussels sprouts and red skin potatoes that we're gonna be boiling and uh, making our garlic mashed potatoes. Let's get this baby seasoned. There we go. I've got a plastic film down on my uh, cutting area to keep it clean. Now what I like to do is see if there is any excess fat, clean that up. But as you can see, this is a beautiful piece. Not a lot of fat. I don't care about that small stuff. And then let's pull the uh, membrane out from the bottom. That way we can, when we cook, the smoking flavor, the seasoning, everything can get in between the bones and inside the meat to get as much flavor out of it as possible. I've got most of the membrane out. We did it off the camera, as many of you would know. The membrane sometimes can be a pain to remove it. So I thought you guys don't want to see me struggling here for 30 minutes trying to pull that off. But, you know, I've got it off. Now, just try to clean up a lot of the, most of the blood that's on there or whatever blood is on there. Get it nice and dry. And then what we're going to do is put our mustard on there. Doesn't have to be much, just a little bit. Seasoning it with our dry ingredients. Start with uh, some salt. All right, make sure you get on both sides. Looks good. Some chili powder. And again, I'm seasoning it very lightly. I don't want the uh, dryer up to overpower the taste of the barbecue sauce. There we go. Some onion powder, or I should say dehydrated onion powder, like that. Some chipotle peppers for a little bit of heat to help out the um, spiciness of the uh, barbecue sauce, like that. Make sure everything is sticking to onto the uh, rack of rib. Now you don't have to exactly go through the same process of uh, the dry ingredients. I mean, I'm just going randomly as I, as I grab them from next to me. Some black peppers. Come on, there we go. Open that there. All right, and lastly, some paprika. Now, as you can see, I put barely anything on there. Perfect. Make sure you get it. Besides the bones, both sides, top, bottom, and just rub it in. That mustard is going to help out all the seasoning stick together. All right. Looks good. Let's get these ribs in and start working on our sides. 
Now, don't judge my smoker. We have done a lot of barbecuing together, but hopefully within the near future, I'll be able to invest into something new. Look at that. There we go. Perfect. Now, a couple hours before we pull our ribs out of the smoker and get them ready to eat, let's start working on our sides. First, let's get going on the uh, garlic mashed potatoes. I've got a, a pot with boiling water in here. So I'm gonna do is dump them in there, let them boil for about 15, 20 minutes. Once they're soft enough where you can poke them easily with a knife, they'll be ready to be smashed. We put the potatoes in there without splashing any water all over the place. All right. Once they're all in, we're gonna turn the heat all the way up and boil it. Like I said, until you can feel the knife going easily inside the potato. About three and a half, four hours into it, we're ready to put our first coat of barbecue sauce. So let's pull out our smoker and put the first coat on. Look at that. Looks beautiful already. Now the barbecue sauce that I use is a store brand. Um, not typically a store brand as it said, but it is a, I buy from store, it's really good. It is the hot version of it. It's not really spicy that you can't handle. I'm personally, I'm not a spicy eater, but with this one, I can handle it. It just got a little bit of pepper flakes in there. All right. Now, when you put the coat on, don't be shy on it. It is called a wet barbecue ribs. So make sure you got a nice thick coat. I'm gonna try to do a couple of them right before it's ready to be enjoyed. There you go. And we're gonna put it on both sides and about 20 to 30 minutes into it, we're gonna pull it out again, put another coat on it. And after that, it should be ready to go. All right, let's flip it over. Wow, look at that. Wow. Now, like I said in the beginning, when I was prepping to, uh, right before the, put it in the uh, smoker, the seasoning is not that much, as you can see, because I do not want it to overpower the barbecue sauce flavor. But at the same time, I want the meat to be seasoned and get all that flavors inside while it's cooking. Perfect. All right, I'm ready to put it back inside the smoker. And in about 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, we'll pull it out, put another coat on top, and we'll see what it looks like at the end. For our cider Brussels sprouts, I'm going to be boiling them in hot water first. Let's toss them in the water. And then once they're boiled, they're soft, I'm going to be actually tossing them again in a pan with some onions and salt and pepper to give it more flavor, more uh, crunchiness to it. Easiest way is to just smash them down again. And that way it's easy to hold them and chop them using your chef knife. And they're nice and fine. Again, it's this is one of the hardest way to do it, the longest way to do it. But at this moment right now, this is how I do it. <laughs> if that makes sense. All right, we'll let that simmer for a few more minutes. In the meantime, let's put that away. Cut in the middle. Up. And then dice it up this way. That way when you're dicing, you get nice perfect squares. There we go. Move that out of the way. All right, I decided to add some bacon to our Brussels sprouts to give it that saltiness. So what I'm gonna do next is 
dice it up. Let's cut this in half and then down the middle also. There we go. And then let's dice it up. Uh, this is a cherry wood smoked bacon. It's going to give that nice saltiness to the Brussels sprouts with the caramelized onions. I'm sure it'll be fantastic. All right, perfect. Let's check our potatoes and see how they're doing. Let's see. All right, let's check these. Perfect timing. These are ready to be smashed. And then once I pull this off, I'm going to put my Brussels sprouts on the heat, get those boiling, and start working on the mashed potatoes. I've drained the water out of the uh, potatoes already. As you can see, it's nice and soft. And what I'm going to start doing is add our garlic. And then heavy cream. Oh, actually, before you put the heavy cream, let's put salt. Generous amount. Black peppers. There we go. We got butter. A whole stick of butter is plenty. You can add more as you taste it and see if it's not good good enough. Not soft and mushy enough. Let's mix it up a little bit. Get the uh, butter in there. Then add the cream. I think that's plenty. And then smash everything through. I drained my Brussels sprouts, but before I toss that into the pan to give it that crunchiness, crispiness, I'm going to do is uh, cook the bacon with the onions. I want them to marry together and get the onion caramelized a little bit while the bacon's cooking. So I've created my pan already. What I'm going to do is put some olive oil down. There we go. Then we're going to add our onions. Give that a toss. Then let's all add our bacon. All right. Let's let that caramelize there and the bacon to cook. And then we're going to go over and There we go. This is a real quick side that you can make. I mean, boiling the Brussels sprouts takes a few minutes. And getting this done literally takes five to ten minutes to fully cook it once you get your Brussels sprouts boiled and soft enough. When you cut them in half, try not to squeeze them or pinch them too hard because they start to fall apart like this. And I think I've might have boiled them just a few minutes extra, which is fine. It'll make it easier to eat and chew. And then once these are all cut up, we'll toss it in the uh, bacon and onion mixture. Give it a little bit of salt and pepper. Let them sit there together for a few minutes and this will be ready to be enjoyed. There we go. That looks good already. And then let's season it a little bit. Black peppers. Oh, I can smell that bacon already. Salt. Remember to always season your food. There you go. Now let's let this cook together. And let's pull the uh, ribs out of the smoker and see how that looks. All right, let's see what this baby looks like. Beautiful.
My mouth is watering already. Look at this beauty. Wow. I'm ready to cut it, plate it, and see what it tastes like. There we go. Let's see. I'll give you a side view of it. Look at that. Oh, that cutter is just like butter. Let's have a look. Look at that. Wow. All right, let's plate it and see what it looks like on a plate and eat it. All right, let's start plating this baby. A few pieces of rib like that. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Let's put our mashed potatoes. Let's go on the right side of me. There we go. And then our Brussels sprouts. That smells really good with the onions and bacon. And then garnish the plate with the diced chive. There you have it. Baby back ribs, wet baby back ribs with garlic mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts with caramelized onions and bacon. Now to the best part is enjoying the food actually. As you can see, our plate turned out really good. And you gotta remember that I eats the food first and then you enjoy it. So let's just get straight to it. Now, from what I understand from, you know, watching other YouTubers and other uh, barbecue shows, all the competitions out there, what I understand is if the meat is falling off the bone before eating it, it's overcooked. But when you're eating it, it's gotta come off the bone clean. So let's give it a try. And as you can tell, that's pretty, it's pretty rock on there. Mmm. Clean bone. Wow. Watery. It's got that smoke flavor. And like I said before, the seasoning on there is not overpowering the barbecue flavor. You can clearly taste the sauce, but at the same time, the meat's got a lot of flavors. Hmm. I'm gonna take one more bite and I'm gonna try the mashed potatoes. All right. Let's see. Look at that. Nice and soft, evenly mashed. You can see the peppers, garlic. Mmm. Can't even chew it. It just swallows. You know, it just goes down easily. You don't need anything to wash this down. Wow. Really good. And now... Perfect. Not mushy. You can still chew it. That caramelized onion and the bacon just makes a whole world of difference. And Brussels sprouts doesn't taste good by itself at all. But with the bacon and caramelized onion, changes everything. It's a different twist to it. Well, there you have it, folks. Another perfect plate from Eddie is Cooking. Thank you for watching another episode of Eddie is Cooking. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment.